brothers and sisters in Christ. May God receive the honor and the glory of our gathering together today to, com to commemorate the seventh year anniversary of the opening of this place of prayer and adoration. Here we have a clear case of how the hand of God in anything causes such a transformation that leaves no one in doubt as to the fact that indeed with God nothing is impossible. With the touch of God, this location which needed any adjective more dreadful than a burial ground to describe is now a holy ground. God stretched out his hands and holding the hand of Reverend Father Mario David Dibier, one of the priests of the Catholic Diocese of Iseluku, for which I am the bishop. And holding also the hands of many supporters and generous benefactors and benefactresses. And as it were, overnight transformed a burial ground into a holy ground. Indeed, with God, and it has to be with God, all things are possible. Glory to the Blessed Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one from whom all life and goodness comes. And may the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary be always remembered and honored. And may all who seek the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary always obtain same through praying and worshiping God with the image of the Blessed Virgin Mary before our eyes. As conscientious Catholics, we are always seeking to live authentically the Christian life. We are constantly searching for that more, for what more we can do to be close to God. For this reason, we find the Eucharistic adoration very valuable. Adoration before the Blessed Sacrament is a precious opportunity we have to be close to God and thereby discover the sustenance and the direction for our lives. You cannot be an adorer for a long time without noticing, without others noticing a change in your life. The Eucharist is meant not only to sustain us as food from heaven, but also to empower us to do great things for God and his church. And doing great things for God and his church means that we become better mothers, better fathers, better sons and daughters, better students, better priests and better religions. God desires our holiness more than we know. Living as faithful disciples of Jesus is about a way of life grounded in practices of faith that nurtures virtue in us. Many people are often seeking not so much a theory about our faith as they are seeking a way of life. Certain practices and beliefs that form our actions 
constitute this way of life. Christians, Christian life is a way of being that is inextricably linked to certain ways of acting. A combination of practice with communal worship and service to the poor help many people to understand who Jesus is. The poor, the suffering servant. And therefore helps them to understand the Catholic way of life from the inside. The same is true for all adult Catholics. Spiritual practices require commitment and regularity if they are to transform us. Spiritual practices like attending Mass, days of reflection, and adoration before the Blessed Sacrament are journeys, not day trips into the realm of the sacred. They are not hobbies or occasional exercises that depend on our moods or our latest interest. They demand a personal discipline, a tenacity of purpose. Spiritual practices require commitment. The examples include reading the daily scriptures, worshipping every Sunday with our parish, spending hour before the Blessed Sacrament, or praying the daily rosary. Late Archbishop Fulton Sheen was known to have spent an hour every day before the Blessed Sacrament because he believed that spiritual practices give sustenance to his ministerial actions as priest and as bishop. So too for us, our adoration before the Blessed Eucharist is an action that reminds us about the combination of bringing together our faith practices and Catholic action that change our lives and ultimately transforms the whole world. It is not by accident that Jesus gave us the Eucharist the evening before his action of emptying himself in death so that we might have life. During the Eucharistic prayer of the Mass, we hear these words. This is my body, which is given for you. This is my blood, which is poured out for you. Then we hear, do this in memory of me. What is this, this, that we are referring to? This action. It is Jesus' own giving of himself. We are to imitate Jesus' self-giving, represented in the action of the bread of his body being broken and the wine of his blood being poured out. When we take and receive, we say, Amen, to imitating Jesus' gift of himself. When we adore, we are in awe only to be empowered to go out and do as he did. The Mass gives us the most blessed sacrament and the most blessed sacrament is the, love, is the living, loving and the life-giving priest and victim of the Mass. The Mass in turn is rooted in Calvary. The Mass in fact is Calvary renewed and represented Reenacted and made present on the altar in a bloodless manner. Calvary, in turn, is rooted in the heart of Christ. Christ loves his Father to the point of dying on the cross for his glory and for our salvation. Christ loves us to that point of dying on the cross for our salvation. He loves us not only collectively, but individually and personally. And this is that point that always excites me greatly. That as many as we are here, God knows all of us as a group, but he also knows us individually and personally to the extent of knowing that you, 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 we 
Any shadow of any euro, any shadow of me, but a man of one, who can you, 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 ba, wouldn't get done. Kebi a home, Kebi home, be a cabu hair, ego, oh, my hair, if we move to Bunanaway. Unizia, you, you, go bon, you, go bon, only a qua, white. Me here won't buy in Ketan, oh, Kia Kesida, Naru, or not in Ketan. Meaning, if you ran a bay. It be. So he knows us collectively, but he also knows us individually and personally. Edina Abbaso Karen Ketan, where Kajuma Ker, Mene Paradibia, Onya. All right. So. Christ loves us, and we must in turn return love for love. And because we love him, let us give him something more. Something he does not require under pain of sin. Let us give him thrones of adoration where night and day he can preside over each parish, over each of our souls over all of us collectively and then over all of us individually and over all of us personally. My dear brothers and sisters, take advantage of this place of prayer and adoration and praise which God used for a Mario to put up here in this most unexpected of locations since seven years now to come and pray. Come and pray with Christ in the most blessed sacrament. He is constantly offering himself to the Father in a spirit of adoration, thanksgiving, reparation and petition. Come and pray with him. Come and pray to him. He himself is God and deserves the worship and adoration and thanksgiving and reparation and petitions from all of us. Pray as you like. Recite your favorite prayers. Contemplate him in acts of faith, hope, and charity. Adoration and thanksgiving. Allow Christ, allow Jesus Christ to walk on you, enlightening your minds, your will, calming your fears, clearing your doubts, and purifying your motives, and giving you direction and perspectives for your lives. Allow Jesus Christ to walk on you. And allow Jesus Christ to walk through you by your presence and your prayers and your sacrifices. Make Christ reach through you with his grace into your family, into your parish, into your community, into the country, and into the world. My dear friends, here we have divine power. That power, release it over a world that is in a mess. A world infested with armed robbery, with kidnapping of everybody, including Reverend Fathers and Reverend Bishops, with corruption, with perversion, with banditry, drugs, terrorism, Boko Haram, and now the forces of nature have added to it the ravaging and the uncontrollable flood that is ravaging everywhere. How many are our problems? But this one thing we are sure that our God is still
still able. The world today needs the presence of Jesus. The world today needs the mercy of Jesus. The world today needs the consolation of faith in Jesus. We are all in need of his redemption for our present predicaments. We cannot afford to stand aloof and look on without cooperating with the order and with the grace of God to evangelize the world. Our present evangelization crusade should aim at achieving the same objective and result by making the Catholic faith and practice a natural or cultural way of life for the people. This will happen not only in our one time, but in our world everywhere. Including even the center of the universe. Everybody knows that. It is then, and only then, that Catholicism can be considered a home religion rather than a foreign religion just superimposed on the people. And my dear brothers and sisters, let us give thanks to God for this befitting place of worship and adoration which has enabled Father Mario David Dibia and so many generous benefactors and benefactresses to construct here where we have now had his abiding presence for the past seven years. And because God's hands have been in it, the only things that could possibly characterize this place are expansion, growth, Maximum manifestation of God's glory. Great testimonies of people and events who have experienced tremendous blessings and grace from having called upon God from this place of prayer and praise. We can paraphrase the prayers of Solomon in the temple in Jerusalem like this. God. I beg, please continue to hear the prayers of everybody who calls upon you from this place of praise and prayer. And when you hear, please answer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now let us also pray. That Father Mario David Dibia, Father Mario, I'm going to have 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 a humble instrument in the hands of God. Yeah. Making him to realize and to always be conscious of the fact that it is only to the glory and to the name of God that glory may be given. We are mere acting wear jars. We are mere servants. We, all we do is by the power of God. And God uses us to do all that. And when God uses us, let us remember to give the glory to God and let God bless us abundantly through Christ our Lord. And may God 
always hear the prayers we offer to him from this place and from everywhere for our good and for the good of the many people who depend solely on the mercy of God and for the good of all those who are recommended to our prayers. May God hear and answer all of us. And now, one last offer. If you hear, Nkugu, just say, is sir. If you don't hear, Nkugu, just say, is sir. In here, the Adios Rogue and Ketan, who's up with Chen? Whoa. No, so no, where? Where catch a no, 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 no,